Hello there, I am Giant Quotal, and this is, uh, welcome back to my Legend of Zelda for the NES Let's Play. In the last part, we took on the level 2 temple, we're gonna head for the level 3 temple, we'll get, um, I don't think we're gonna get an extra, we're not gonna get an extra hard container in the overworld this, in this part, I'm pretty sure. But I wanna show you guys where some more, uh, rupee tricks were, uh, where rupee secrets were, um, so, let's see here. 30 rupees is the first one, so... I'm trying to think where it is. Oh, I think I know where it is, yeah. If we, um, I want to take out, I want to take that... Ah, uh, dang it, I meant to switch over to my boomerang. I forgot to do that. But yeah, um, I'm going to defeat these enemies real quick, just so they're out of the way. Taking a lot of damage though from them, so that's not really good. There we go. Just take care of this enemy. Uh, right here is the 30 rupees for, um, 30 rupees if you want rupees. But I have max rupees right now because it's like the max rupees in this game. Since there is no wallet upgrade in this Legend of Zelda game, the max rupees you can hold at one time are, is 255. So I won't get that yet. I might, I might come back to that if I do need rupees later. I just want to show you where it was in case you didn't know. And then I think up here we have to use the bomb. I can get it there though. There. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna switch my bombs. I'm pretty sure this is another rupees place we can get a secret to everybody thing. We go in here. This one should be also 30 rupees, so that's good. And I need to do a little side quest. If you consider a side quest being a thing you'd accomplish and complete that's not required to, you know, as part of the story, as part of completing the game, then this is a side quest. If you go up here and go in this little cavern, this guy will say, show this to the woman, to the old woman. And this is a, this is a letter. And if you give this to a woman, um, from one of the, um, that's supposed to be running one of the potion shops around Hyrule, then you can actually buy a second potion or a life potion, the you know the blue and the red potions, which we'll get to that later. We don't really have to worry about buying one now, but later on, you know, my skill level at this game, I'm gonna need them, so keep that in mind. Okay, we need a candle again. And I think we burned this bush. Yeah, there we go. Here's another rupee secret, it should be for 30 rupees. I just wanna show that off. I'm gonna buy the magical shield now. So let me do that. Oh my gosh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die in the overworld again. I have too many deaths by that. Okay, I got two hearts. Okay, I'm just gonna take the stopwatch and go. The, uh, the cheapest place I know to get the magical shield is for 90 rupees and it's in this shop right here. So I'm gonna just buy it. So let's do it. And what else do we need to do? I bought the magical shield for 90 rupees. Okay, I'm gonna give the letter to the old woman, so hopefully I can get there without dying. I should just hit the hit the octa rock. There we go. Okay. I meant the boomerang to hit the rock rock, so it's done it, but it wasn't kinda of work it wasn't really working in my favor. Now with the magical shield, you can actually block um, magical projectile that, projectiles that may be stronger, so that's really nice. Now if we go over here, I'm gonna be very careful here. Shoot. Get in there, I wanna show this at least before I die. So if you, here's the old woman that the old man was talking about, just press the B when you have the, you know, the, the letter, and then you can buy some medicine. But I won't buy any medicine for right now, cause I think I can make it to the fairy fountain without getting hit, so. Let me try. Uh oh, this is bad. Bad, this is bad, this is bad. Go, 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 go! Here's another fairy fountain around Hyrule that'll help like, heal you up, so that's really nice. And. I'm gonna switch back to my boomerang. Other than that, um. Let's. I think we're ready to go on the level 3 um, temple. Yeah, we just sneak past you guys. Ooh, I'm gonna take advantage of this stopwatch. Did I get drop anything good? 
got bombs. Okay, cool. Uh, we're at full health right now, which is a good sign. Here's the level 3 temple entrance. So if I can just take care of this little spider thing. I'm so afraid you're gonna hit me. I'm just gonna go in. I don't care. I have full health. So this is my favorite level. T this is my favorite temple, probably in my opinion, because the boss is really fun to you know fight. And then I love the color scheme in this temple. It's just like this mint green kind of thing. Mint, not even mint green. It's probably like it's close to mint green, but it's not exactly mint green in my opinion. But like it's a really good you know color. The way Link looks in this t temple when he's you know exploring it, it just looks so cool. I really like the color scheme here. That's what it sells it for me at least. So we gotta go up. We gotta defeat all these enemies. I'm just gonna choose to defeat all these enemies. If you don't have the white sword at this point, the level two sword, then um, these little blob enemies, I don't know the name of the names of them. Ooh, a fairy. Oh, I have health already, so I don't really, really have to worry about the fairy. But the stopwatch is really convenient. If you don't have the white sword by now, you um every time you hit one of these blob enemies, they'll split into two smaller ones. And that can get really annoying because it's like they're multiplying basically, and it's not fun. So I recommend you have the um, white sword at this before level three at least. So you know, let's go to the left. Let's grab the compass. That missed both of them. That missed both of them. There we go. Hit one. Oh, oh shoot, I, I wasn't paying attention. This stupid key was distracting me. Ay ay ay, okay. So, we gotta go left and open the key. These are dark nuts. They're like harder version. Well, they're, they're like a hard enemy version of like. Well, there's a harder version of them, but they're like really hard. You can only attack them on the sides and then the back, so keep that in mind. I can just, you know. So these things give me, these things raise my blood pressure. Like they're really, they're really just annoying and hard to defeat. We haven't even got to the harder version of them, but for right now we have to deal with them. There we go. It helps that I have the white sword at this point too, so that's good. Gosh. No, 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 no. Dang it, are you kidding me? I needed you to drop a heart there. Got more bombs, I already max bombs, okay. Let's go down. Now, I'm gonna try using bombs on these dark nuts because a bombs is also in the way you can defeat dark nuts. Yeah, heart. Ah, I can't grab it though because they're covering it. They're literally like, covering it so I can't even get it. Dang it, this is so nerve wracking. Thank you, thank you. Get the stopwatch, get the stopwatch, get the stopwatch, get this. Thank you. I'm down to one heart now. I gotta switch over my boomerang so I don't actually use too many bombs. <sighs> Please drop like bombs and hearts or something, you know, that'd be nice. Uh... Nope, you're not gonna drop anything good. Okay, bombs are nice. Gosh dang it. I don't, if I die because these stupid keys, I'm going to be mad. Thank you, okay. If, as long as I, if I die, I'm going to have to do part of the temple over. But I did get the raft, which is a um, really good item. It's our dungeon item, or temple item. And it'll set, it'll let you sail on those wooden docks that are green around Hyrule. Which we can actually get a heart container using this raft, which we'll get later on, of course. And what else? We have to go up. I have half a heart. This is not good. I'm gonna get rid of the keys first. Keys are just so annoying. Please drop a heart. Rupee is okay. Thank you. Not one and a half hearts now, okay. So what do we do from here? I'm trying to think.
What if we go over here? No, we don't need to go over here, actually. I believe we have to go back over here. To go up, I think. No, we don't have to go up, actually. Okay. Okay. Go. Avoid these dark nuts again if I can. Thank you. Okay, I hopefully you can drop a heart or something or stop watch that skip too. Heart? Nope, I would be heart. Nope, grab key, okay. Wanna go to the right, I believe. I didn't mean to open that one, dang it. To buy another key off screen because I didn't mean to open that one door on the left. It's just not good. And ah, it's bad. It's really, really bad. I don't need bombs. If uh, just to be safe, I can attack them from a distance. Didn't work. I don't need rupees either. I need a heart. Oh boy, I don't know if I can get this one, but I, can, I probably can. Ah. No! I died. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, this was the room where I was at, so. Yeah, I'll just. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Don't need more bombs. I need a heart. I have one heart. Jeez. Okay. It's just great. Okay. Gotta get rid of these keys. Now these glowing, like glitchy bubble looking things are actually bubbles, as I just said in the name family. Um, and they stop you from using your sword for about like five seconds or so. They're really annoying, but they don't deal damage on you, which is the only good thing about them, really. Yeah. Just go in. This is the boss room, too. Yes, it is. Okay, switch to your bombs. And, okay, if I can just... Okay. Need to hit them with my sword. I hit you with your sword. Ah, ah. Are you kidding me? I died again at the boss? Jeez. I was almost there too. I'll cut back to where I was at again. Dang it, I died again? Are you kidding me? Seriously. Come on. Okay, right back at the boss room. Hopefully I can get it this time. Let's switch over to our bombs. Wow, that's perfect. You can get it in one shot if you end up like, put the bomb right in the middle of the boss. And I just did that this time, which is nice. So we can grab a heart container, switch back to our boomerang, and let's grab a, the piece of Triforce, and we'll be done for this level 3 temple. Nice. So, yeah, level 3 temple isn't that hard, but I made it just look super hard, so I apologize for that. My bad. Yeah. Nice. So, we're at full health again, and let's see if we can take down this enemy. There we go. So, we got, I think, three pieces of the Triforce now. The three units of the Triforce of Wisdom. So, that's good. We got the raft. So, yeah, this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Legend of Zelda for the NES Let's Play.